Welcome back to the land of pain. The land of Victoria 2 A to Z. The series where I play all the interesting nations in Victoria 2 from A to Z. Not that hard to understand. But yeah, this is Strategy Games Tableau. And welcome back. Now last time on this curse series, we were in South America, in Chile to be precise, and this time we get to go to your... Uh, no? No. We get to go to Colombia. Colombia is actually a really fun and kind of long-awaited country for me because you get some really, really good decisions, including form Grand Colombia and claim Grand Colombia, which basically give you cores on a huge amount of land. Except you do have some problems. 4% of the population can read. In other news, the economy is bad. Like, n not just regularly bad, like really bad. So, um, I hate to do this, but, uh, we don't need a Navy, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, n Navy, no, no, n not Columbia. Yeah, deleting the Navy did not help, so, um, we're gonna hold an election in which hopefully the conservatives will come to power because they have more of the population and from there we will be able to tax more people. The conservatives came to power, which means I actually make money. Incredible. Ecuador, they have my cores. I don't know why they have my cores, but I really think that it would look much nicer if I took these states. Sorry, Ecuador. <laughs> Mmm, Ecuador. More like half mine now. <laughs> Costa Rica looking like free real estate right now, so I am going to conquer them. Too bad. So sad. Of all things, when I'm trying to take out Costa Rica, there's a rebellion! <laughs> Why, please? Please end my suffering. Doesn't even matter, though. These rebels are made of butter. Although, <laughs> they did just siege down my capital. Well, the people in my country are very upset, so I'm gonna ban slavery and make some other reforms here that hopefully might fix some of the problems. I've almost beaten these guys, but my army is gone, so it doesn't work. That took so long. They're finally annexed. It's over. New Granada Constitution. What does this do? So this will make censored press and totalitarianism. Um, I clicked it. So now, I think... I, I don't know what that did, to be completely honest with you. So it seems to me that we need to rebuild the country now. I think we're going to have to pass a bunch of reforms because I really like immigration. Otherwise, things aren't going to go well. Oh, violent elections. Love to hear it. There is some urgency to get great power because in a couple years here, somebody can spear me and take Balboa and with it the Panama Canal. So I need to get great power prior to that so I can build the canal myself. Oh, some people in this country have finally had the idea to industrialize. Mm, these people blowing it up, making great decisions. Nobody speared Venezuela yet, which honestly, kind of a mistake, because now I get my cores back. Sorry, Venezuela. Absolutely demolished Venezuela. I'm going to keep all the territory. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. That was more than I expected. Poor Venezuela. My ultimate goal right now is to attract immigrants, so I'm just passing a bunch of reforms that help us out. The liberals have come to power, which means I can sign the Constitution of 1859, which will free um, the country, basically. So what that did was it made everything good. Secret ballots, universal voting, moi. Open borders is the next thing I have to hit on, but besides for that, Everything, well, federalism needs to be reformed. Basically, the amount of reforms that I need to make the country acceptable has decreased significantly. The event chains for this nation are so, like, jump through the hoop-ish. We now have to put the conservatives in charge to get rid of our debuff, which makes us totalitarianism. We need to become any of these other options to get immigrants and we can't do that until we become conservative i'm just i'm getting tired of flipping states with this button the conservatives have come back to power which means i can do the constitution of the grad something confederation which means i get confederalism which should turn on the flow of immigration yes we're finally going to gain pops 
The conservatives also allow me to fully fund these factories. So hopefully we'll start industrializing here. We're almost secondary power. It's kind of sad how long this has taken. I'm going to finish off Venezuela here. That way there will only be a couple more nations I need to form what I would like to form. Sometimes when I play Victoria 2, I feel like it's a Gario because I just in eat entire countries. Venezuela, may you rest in peace. I'm going to pop the Life in the New World immigration boost. Hopefully this really packs the country full of people. I would like that a lot. War of the Schools. There's going to be another rebellion? Oh, why is... Why? 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 Every time I try and get something done in this country, the rebels decide, oh, it's time to have a fun time. And then they do this. Why do they do this? I swear, if the rebels rise up again this game, I need to, like, break my computer or something. Holy moly, stop it. The French, of all people, have speared me and decided to build the Panama Canal, the, the communist French, no less. Mm. I'm going to get that back. If it's the last thing I do, I will get it back. German War of New African Liberation. Um, you want to liberate New Africa as in like the southern part of the United States? Germany. I, what are you smoking? Brazil is asking for my land, but no, Brazil. You're not my friend. Unfortunately, the war ended and New Africa was not released. This is big L. Looks like the Russians are having a great time invading India. Russia, I, how many times do you have to learn that maybe this isn't a good thing to do? The Civil War of 1884. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Another civil war. Love Victoria 2. I love Victoria 2. I love Victoria 2. I love Victoria 2. <laughs> I definitely don't hate Victoria 2. No way. Huh. Another constitution. This is like the 12th constitution I've signed. This country actually is not a lot of fun. It's so scripted and it's just not not where it's at right here. I just, actually, Colombia, not fun. Because there's another civil war. This is all that happens. And then I can never get great power because, I don't know, I want to blame the civil wars, but it, it just isn't happening. This is not good. I just cannot, for the life of me, get great power. I have to pass the Austrians, but they got a full 90 score on me. And the industry here... No bueno. We just don't have any RGOs. That's one thing that Chile has up on us. Brazil declared war on me. What kind of a move is that? They do realize that I'm in the French spear, right? Not quite sure what Brazil was thinking there. <laughs> do not mess with Colombia or you will get, I don't know, your territory stolen. We'll go with that. Europe is burning, so I am now GP, which is just great. Nationalize the industry, and yeah, we are going to be doing great. GP has not solved any of my problems, because to form Grand Colombia, I need to annex Ecuador or put them in my spear. But there's a certain bully keeping me from doing that. France, please, either drop from GP or let me have Ecuador. Why do you need that? I wish there was something I can do here, but there's really not. I can't declare war on Ecuador, because then the French will join and curb stomp me. I can't declare war on Nicaragua, because if I do that, the Americans will join and they will curb stomp me. So it's just bad situation all around. Really need to find a solution. There's this event in GFM where all the great powers randomly declare war on China because China's doing atrocities or whatever. But it's like only one of the great powers has to siege stuff down and you still get prestige and you still get paid even if you're not the one who does the deed. So it's kind of like we just let the French do it and we chill every time. 
I, I haven't fought this war once, and I've been great power in GFM several times by now. I think I could go the entire series without fighting this war in China. Free prestige for no reason. And white peace with China. Thank you, France. Uh, thank you for the free stuff. If anybody's an expert on GFM, can you put in the comment section if the uh, Boxer Rebellion directly leads to the Warlord era in this mod? Because it seems to me the Boxer Rebellion gets put down by generally the French, and then this happens. I'm just trying to get an idea of it so I know what's happening when I play China. I couldn't get Ecuador, so I took Nicaragua instead. And they are now in the team. Although, I, have to, I guess I've finished Guatemala and El Salvador. What kind of a deal is this? I think it's about time we taught the French a lesson and got them out of the Americas. We're taking Colombia, or we're taking my cores back. I am Colombia. Basically, we're taking the Panama Canal. That's what we're doing. It's not that hard to say. I'm just losing it. I took all the French stuff in South America, but they will not surrender yet. So I think this is going to be a painfully long war. Ecuador has entered the war against me. I don't know what they're thinking exactly because um, can't imagine that's going to go well at any point ever. The Navy is finally starting to show up, so there might be a chance that we can pull something off. Might. Would you look at that? France has decided to be reasonable with me and give me my core back. And the core we're talking about is the Panama Canal, which, um, yeah, the war's over. Sure, okay. Um, but yeah, we got the Panama Canal back, and this will start making us money and will allow us to make proper use of our navy. I think I'd like peacetime for a while, so I'm not going to join my now British ally. Some weird things happened there when uh, uh, the I was at war with the French. I allied a lot of random people who didn't come to help me out. We've actually managed to build quite the navy. Three dreadnoughts, a bunch of battleships, and just a ton of cruisers. I'm pretty confident in our ability to actually do things uh, when the time comes. And now, after so many hours of gameplay, we can finally do what I set out to do. Ecuador is in my spear. Peru is in my spear. I ate Venezuela, so they don't really matter anymore. But now, we can do Form Grand Colombia which gives us the yellow color. Doesn't allow us to eat all of this stuff, apparently, for whatever reason. Only, only allowed us to eat the core of Ecuador. But yeah, now, I guess we're vibing. Ooh, claim the ABC Islands. Yes, please, claim Trinidad and Tobago. We're gonna become an Olympic powerhouse with these, I swear. <laughs> just just wait a couple years and we're also going to claim the mosquito coast which also gives us cores very cool i just wish we could purchase french guyana but the event chain is locked behind a brazilian event that only brazil gets and because we're not brazil we can't buy it whoever makes this mod i respect you a lot because it's a pretty great mod but fix that please i want to be able to buy guyana off my worst enemy the french I'm also just digging the border gore down here. I mean, seriously, Peru splits Ecuador in half. That's some good borders. Apparently, we're dismantling a country? Which, oh, somehow we're dismantling France. I don't know how this came about, but I get free colonies. Yes, please. <laughs> yes, please. We're going to decide to do civilizing mission because it gives the most prestige. And I'm going to accept, I don't know what, what colony this is, but I will accept control over some of this stuff. I will accept control over that and that and that. What 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 am I getting? What, Tahiti? Um, <laughs> this is interesting to say the least. Wow. Wow. I got Senegal. And what else did I get? Lan Zhang, why not? What am I getting? What territory? Is that my... No, I did not get Indochina. Why did I get Indochina? <laughs> I am so confused as to how this came about. Because I thought that I wasn't in the war with the French. I, I don't know if I was in the war with the French. 
But basically, i am got a ton of territory. I got these random islands. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I got Tahiti over here. Yep, this is Grand Colombia now. Read them and weep, boys. And I got <laughs> Indochina. And I didn't get the stuff in India, which is disappointing because I could really do some conquest there. But yeah, Colombian Tunis. <laughs> I don't think that any other power should ever declare war on me again because then they will have to face the Colombian Tank Corps, which will consist of 60,000 men driving tanks. <laughs> At this point in the game, the Union of South American Republics is my biggest threat because they have cores on literally every single province I own that's not the Central American ones that I don't have a core on. So they could get a strong backer and then declare war on me and then take half my states in one peace deal. So they need to get eliminated, and that is exactly what I plan to do. A great addition to Grand Colombia. To continue trolling the French, I'm invading Madagascar with the tank car in order to show them that, in fact, Colombia is the best. I don't know if it's just my tech, but these tanks absolutely shred the Madagascar forces. <laughs> this is... um. Easy. Oh no, Japan thinks it's being funny and joined the war against me. That's not cool, Japan. That's not cool at all. Do you remember when Grand Columbia blockaded Tokyo? No? That that didn't happen in No, you, you just weren't you, you just aren't like capable of remembering that. This is a absolute monstrosity. Why did I do this? Anyway, folks this is it for this video and um i thought i could do better seventh great power isn't great especially when i was beaten by italy and that's about it everybody else you can expect to beat me um but basically the reason i did not do well was because in all of my country there are no iron rgos and there are no coal rgos except for these two in the north that aren't very good so the industrial score suffered and I couldn't naval spam because I couldn't buy the ships I needed. So, yeah, that's why we're so low on the leaderboard. We did get to conquer some cool stuff like a bunch of French colonies and yada, yada, yada. And that was pretty good. Some of those provinces had industrial goods. But besides for that, I could have done better. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate all the support on the last couple videos. Y'all have been commenting great things, and I appreciate that. So if you comment, I'll respond to every comment again. And thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And next episode, we get to take a trip to Denmark, where we will be playing in Europe for the first time in several games. I'm actually pretty excited. There's a lot you can do with Denmark.